Go over them. Right, what you can see here, this is a uh, 10 by 1.5, yeah, 1.5, which is a Volkswagen thread, what Volkswagen gears anyway. And I got a problem in that, not to putting this motor together, and the, uh, the threads on the studs are pretty yeah, clogged up, dirt, rust, sealant, various bits and pieces of shit. And I don't have a, a thread die this size. Um, you know, I could pull all the studs out, run them on the wire wheel, that will clean them, you know, perfect. But, yeah. It'd be a good thing actually because I can then paint them but I don't want to disturb them I don't want to take them out of the casings I don't want the shit falling into the engine yeah there's always a risk that you can pull the thread out of a casing you know like especially this have probably been in here since you know 1970 whatever so yeah disturbing them is not a good idea so as I said the best option in this situation would be to run the, the correct thread tap around them and clean them up but I don't have one I don't have the money to buy one it's also yeah quarter the night at night and yeah I don't want to be waiting and till whenever I can go and get one and afford one to finish putting them together I want to finish putting them together tonight so yeah this is what I've come up with. I've done this before. It's pretty simple. You just get the nut, get a spare one yeah, of the right thread. Get your grinder out, just cut a slot to it. And that is plenty good enough to clean your threads. And just, yeah, because you got to get the air and blow it out. Yeah, blow this gap out after each one. Yeah. That's just enough to clean all the shit out of there. So these were tight. In a lot of cases, it really doesn't matter, you know, as long as they do up. But in this situation, see, these are threads that for the, you know, the head and the barrel, and they're going to be torqued to specific torques. So, yeah, you can't have any resistance on the thread. These threads are going to be clean. Or well, you don't get a a correct torque reading. So, yeah, just a little tip if you find yourself in this situation. So, I won't waste this either. I'll throw it in with my thread dies now for next time I need to clean a thread of this size. You know, and these are pretty common on bug. So, okay. Thanks for watching, just a quick one, bye.